Okay. In the last video, we created text-based indexing to search for the movies that we want, isn't it? So in this video, we'll once again use the text-based indexing, whatever we have already defined. But instead of finding the movies through our console, what we'll do is we'll find movies through our Spring Boot application. So as part of this, first what we'll do is, so initially if you remember, we created a method called find movies to search for the movies that we want, but we had left it unimplemented, right? So let's implement this now. So I'm going to remove this line and I'll add some code here and I'll explain what each of these lines are. So as part of this, first thing is to import these classes here, okay? So this text criteria and query and everything, okay? These are from Mongo, MongoDB core. Okay, so and there is something called as Mongo template. So we are going to define Mongo template and then auto wire it, similar to the movie repository that we created and then auto wired it. Now, why are we using Mongo template when we already have movie repository that extends from Mongo repository? So Mongo repository is good for doing basic CRUD operations. So what do I mean by that? So if you want to like update a particular movie or create a new movie or delete a particular movie, then Mongo repository is really good. But what we are doing is what we are trying to do is a custom search based on the search string, right? So in order to do that, Mongo template provides us the necessary APIs to talk to the database and then do our custom search. So now let me explain each of these lines here. Okay, so first thing is we are defining something called as text criteria and to this text criteria we are passing in our search string. So first thing is if we go to our MongoDB UI, what did we define here? So we created a text based index, right? So this, when we created the index, we are specifying what is our criteria. So this is a text based criteria, right? So from the, from the application, Spring Boot application, we are once again telling that our criteria is a text based criteria and that our search string is this particular search string that is provided by the user and the option here for default language it means that we are our default language is english right so we want to define our text based criteria based on this particular language okay next thing so the second line is query so if you go to the console again so here this is a db query to get the movie that we want. So similarly, we are defining a query here pro programmatically and passing in our text criteria to this query, okay? And there is something called sort by score. Let's not worry about that, but I'll just give a brief of what this is, okay? So if we go to our index, so if you look at the weights there, each of those indexes, each of those fields, actors has a weight of one, description has a weight of one and things like that. So everything has a weight of one because we did not specify what our weights for each of the fields should be. I'm just saying go do a search um, irrespective of what the weight is. So MongoDB assigns a score to each of the fields that you define based on the score that you provide, based on the weight that you provide. So in our case, I didn't define what the weight was. I just asked it to um, put the weight as default, right? So that is the sort by score. So, okay. So let's not worry about this part, okay? Now let's go to the next line. So here, this is the part where we are actually doing the find, similar to the find here. So this is a query command with the, so we are doing a find on our collection based on this text. Um, based search right so we are doing the same thing here so we are doing a find using our mongo template we are passing in our query and what is our class so this is a movie dot class right so this is what we are doing here also we are telling on our movie collection do a find so it's the exact same thing but then we are doing it programmatically okay all right now that we have defined this so we want the search string to be provided by the user now, where do we define that? We need an endpoint. So we'll define that endpoint in the controller again. So let's go to our controller. 
I'm going to copy this code and define a new endpoint. So I'll call this. Okay, I'll add another slash search here. So this is a, this is going to be a search endpoint, okay? And I'll name it Find Movies. And this is going to be a string movie. Um, I'll call it search string again. Okay. Now, how do we do, how do we tell Spring Boot that this is going to be a, a string that is passed by the user? Okay. So for that, there is an annotation called at request param. So this is going to be part of the request of this get request. I'll I'll show this part in the in a tool called Postman. Okay. So we are going to pass this search string and pass it to this get movies. Um. Okay. This is find movies, isn't it? So we want find movies and then we'll pass this search string. Okay. Now our API endpoint is also ready. Okay. So let's run this application now. Okay, so let's go to this tool called Postman. So right now I have one endpoint called movies that is going to give us all the list of movies that is present in the database, isn't it? So now I'll create another request. I'm going to create a new request. Um, okay. Add a request. Where do I see that option? Okay, add request. Okay. So this is going to be find movie. And so this is going to be a get request again. So the endpoint is going to be this one and a search at the end, right? Now in order to get or find a movie, we need to pass the search string. So in order to do that, we'll use something called as query parameters here. So we'll pass in our query. So this is a search string, right? So this is what we are defining here. Okay. So this is going to be our key and the value is going to be the movie that we want to search for. Let me search for um, that movie called Free Guy. Okay. I'll search for free. And when I run this, I'm hoping the application is running already. Yeah. Okay. I'll run this and we have that movie called Free Guy. Right. Now let me search for something in the description. Um, I'll say background. It should be able to give, give the same movie. Okay. search for it and I'll get this same movie again. Let me search for a movie um, or movies based on the language. So I'll search for English and this should give me like a list of movies, right? So if I search for um, Hindi, then I'll have that one movie that was there in the database. So this is basically our search feature that we were planning to do from the beginning, right? So our backend application is now complete. So uh, both the features that is getting all the movies um, and finding a movie based on a search string has been implemented. Now, in the next video, what we'll do is we'll try to see how we can connect our front-end application to the back-end application. So first we'll create our front-end application and then use these REST APIs provided by our Spring Boot application Okay, and then use these endpoints from our UI application. So that's it for this video. Thank you.